Hi, in this video we are going to make this extension box with any length of wire. I am also going to talk about the electrical safety that you have to carry on when you do such projects. I am JC Happy and welcome to Media Milan. I am sure everybody has been in a situation where you wanted an extension box to power up your equipment and uh, you go to a store and buy something for around 500 bucks only to realize it's not long enough. In this video I will show you how you can make one for just 150 bucks and it's really good and sturdy. So let's go ahead and see how we can do it. I bought this power socket box for 45 rupees and the sockets and switch cost me around 90 rupees. The top cover of the box already has these holes cut in them. This is where the sockets will sit. Each flux socket has markings of line, neutral and earth. Make sure you note this because we will follow this later. Let's start fixing the sockets and switch to the top cover. The screw comes along with the sockets when you buy them. Make sure you give equal gaps when tightening the screw. The line wire always goes to the bottom of the switch. The top pin then connects to all the L mark pins of the socket. This is the wire that carries the power. Then the neutral wire or N mark pins are connected together. Finally the E or earth pins. Let's loosen the screws. Measure and cut each wire, then strip, twist the copper wire and screw them in place following the order I showed before. Make sure the wires are not loosely connected. First the earth wire. I mark it with double lines for easy understanding. Then the neutral is marked with thick black line and finally the line wire which is left as is with no markings. Now we make a hole in the box so we can thread in the wire out of the box. We take this wire connector and cut it with the cutter. We just need 3 of them, then drill and screw them in place. Mark each connector so we know which wire is connected where. After a thorough inspection, I screw the top onto the box. For the plug, I already had this wire laying around. The red is always line, green is earth and black is neutral. I screw each wire to its correct marking. Finally, power up the box and test it with the tester. The tester should glow when you touch the line pin and be off when you touch the neutral and earth pin. This is important. Once you open it, you can find earth, line and neutral pins marked. Unscrew the pins to connect the wire. Just make sure you thread them inside this red band before connecting it to the pins. I hope this video was useful for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Do visit my blog for a detailed instruction regarding this project and follow me on social network to know about my future projects. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy learning!